Okay guys, hi Joe here. Um, just to let you know, um, if you have your friends in the Philippines, whatever you do, if you're American friends or any foreigners, don't take them to McDonald's. We do not want to go to the Golden Arches. We want to see something different. Okay guys, this is what it's like here at night when you're buying street food and this type of thing. The food's really inexpensive and really good. And uh, here you go. That's a big flavor of what's going on in the Philippines. Okay guys, this is what you call a shomai, all right? And we're out on the street eating this. And by the way, if you're a foreigner and you're gonna be visiting the Philippines, sometimes you're gonna have some uh, children show up and they're gonna be begging for money. That's typical. Remember, this is a very poverty country, okay? You wanna give them a little bit of, a, little bit, a few coins, give them a little bit of money, and they'll be on their way, okay? So we're gonna check this out. This stuff is delicious, I've had this many times. Okay, this is the shomai, and what you do is you eat it with these toothpicks, and they're right up here, and everyone just takes their hand and grabs a couple of toothpicks, all right? And once you've got these toothpicks, you just stick it inside the shomai, and then you stick that inside your mouth and eat it, is what you do. You pick it up just like that, and the sauce is on it. All right, kind of tayo. Okay guys, this is one of my favorites right here. This is called eat log. Nang Pugo. This is a quail egg and it's deep fried and it has a uh, batter on it and the, the batter is orange and the orange batter is just for cosmetic purposes really. Okay? So we're gonna get five of these and it's what? Makano? 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 Five pieces for 20. Five pieces for 20 pesos. Ma a new Tagalog word is, is Makano by the way. That means how much. All right, so I'm going to get some of these. Okay, guys, I just want to show you. You see how everything is here? The food here is fresh and it's really good. And you got some peanuts. And you have this. I'm going to show you this later. This is balut. It's one of my favorites in the Philippines. It is an egg. And it has a little chick inside, which may be kind of surprising for you, but I like it. It's really good. This is a tina paz, a fish. It's a smoked fish, it's really good for breakfast. But I wanna show you, take a look at how everyone does everything here to survive. There's the light, there's a battery over here for their power, their, their source of power. And down here, down here is, a, is kerosene to keep these goods warm. Okay, here's a place where you buy some gulai. Gulai is a word for vegetables in the Philippines. So it's on the street, and this is where you buy it like that. Okay, so unfortunately we had to sit down, uh, the wife and I, at a McDonald's. I really despise coming in here, but it's really the only place around in this area where you can take a rest and have a seat. Uh, other than that, one tip for you foreigners when you come into the Philippines, um, if you, you don't want to sit around a window like is right behind me, if you get offended by children that are homeless and they come begging for money, it's going to happen. They see you're a foreigner, they're going to come and do it. Again, this is a very poor country, you know, and uh, when uh, my wife and I see them coming, we just give them some money and let them be on their way, you know, and that type of thing. It's uh, difficult to eat here every day for a lot of people, all right? Hi Joe here, here again. Do subscribe. Until next time, see ya.